In Creo Parametric, you can save a model to the SolidWorks format. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a part open. I will go to the file menu and then save as, save a copy. And this opens up the save a copy dialog box. Down at the bottom, we have the type dropdown list. And here we can see that we have the option for the SolidWorks part format. I will select it and you can change the name if you want to. Over to the right of the type dropdown is an options button. And when you click on that, you can choose which version that you want to save to. I am in Creo 8. It gives me four different options here. I'm using SolidWorks 2020, so let's select that. And then you can choose which options you want to include or not. So for example, maybe I don't want to bring over datums. I want to keep it uncluttered. Here we are getting hidden entities. You can choose if you want the cable services to go along. I can turn off parameters if I don't need them. And here we have construction bodies. I can turn those off as well. Rather than setting these every single time that you want to export a SOLIDWORKS file, you can save this as a profile. I will click on the button. And by default, it's going to save it to the last folder that you had accessed. You could change this to the folder where you have all your different profiles stored. And here we have the name of the file that will be saved. You can change this if you want to, but I'm just going to hit the save button over here. Similarly, if you have saved a profile, you could load that profile manually when you want to perform the export. Let's click the OK button out of here and then click the OK button. And now it's doing some processing. And in the message area, it tells me that the SolidWorks file has been created. Before I jump over to SolidWorks, let's take a look at what you can do with that profile file. If I go to File and then Options, in here we have the category for data exchange and here we have the import and open profiles here are export profiles if i scroll down in the list here we have solidworks and i could choose select profile and then browse and then find that profile that i created and then use that and also, if I go to click the OK button, it's going to prompt me, hey, do you want to save this in your config.pro options? Besides doing it this way, I'm going to cancel out for a second. I can go to the configuration editor and then use the find button. And I will type in the keyword export to search. And then I'll choose find now. And if I scroll down in the list, let's see here, export profiles. There we go. Export profiles, SolidWorks. Hey, that's where you can set that. Be aware that there's also the Parasolid format that you can save to. I'll show that in another video. Parasolids, that is the same kind of kernel that's used by SolidWorks. But anyhow, let's close out of there and then hit the OK button. And I'm not going to save the option now. Let's see what this looks like in SolidWorks. Okay, here I am in my SolidWorks 2020. Let's click on the open button and I will look for the part. Let's use the quick filter to cut down on the list of objects in here. And here is the part that I just saved. Let's hit the open button. And I get the option to proceed with feature recognition. I'm going to click no for that. And you can see that we have the geometry in here. Now, sometimes you're going to get flaws when you bring this in. And so you can go to the imported feature that you have and then right click on it. Here we have import diagnostics and we can see that, okay, it found all these different problems in here, a bunch of faulty faces and no gaps between faces. You can click this attempt to heal all, which would try to take care of all the faulty faces and the gaps. If we had gaps in here, you would have the grayed out button attempt to heal all gaps if you just wanted to do those. So in this particular situation, hitting either of these buttons will do the same thing. Hey, let's attempt to heal all. And this is going to end up processing 
for a few minutes as it's trying to fix those 325 faulty faces. Let's come back when this is finished. All right, that did not take long actually. And so in the import diagnostics property manager, we have the message that no faulty faces or gaps remain in model. Let's hit the check mark. And now we have our geometry brought in to SolidWorks. So again, that's how you can export a SolidWorks file from Creo Parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.